apologies about that. Will be Tech Chariot against Verstort here in set number two. Civ Draft and my home maps are available on your screens. We have Verstort with Arena Cove or Banana Cove. Tech Chariot with Monkey Jungle Arena. That is what we're calling it, yeah. So many, so many monkey and junk things. I can't <laughs> keep them straight in my mind. Anyways, game one Arabia for clearly what are two clowns. We're going to have Vorstort with Byzantines, Indians, Sicilians, and Britons. Tech Chariot will have Lithuanians, Italians, Japanese, and Spanish. Best of three round of 16 matchup here. Out of the previous two matchups we've seen for these guys. Well, I guess Tech Cherry got an admin win. We know Tech Cherry though. He's around. We we've, we've seen many of his games played with him, you know. Uh given the setup with two clowns, do you think we're gonna see some crazy arena strats here? One hundred percent. I mean, assuming arena gets played, I look forward to seeing whatever clownery unfolds there. Yeah, yeah. There there may or may not be a meme. Maybe. <laughs> all right guys enough joking around we'll dive into the game here in just a second let me get loaded up and we'll go from there Verstort versus tech chariot game number one gonna be coming up here in a second a few seconds because i failed to check the higher seed here, I believe it's for Stort. Yes, it is. All right, I am at five seconds when you're ready. Yep, count down. Three, one. Tech Chariot here in the gray, playing as the Japanese on Arabia, and my oh my, if you had ever seen a prettier wall-up situation for an arena clown. Oh. Well. Stone is a little exposed, but, uh, wow. Other side, yeah. Restort very open here. Uh, still can wall one side up easily, the other side is going to be quite a stretch to wall up. Uh, so we'll see how that affects Two clowns here but can we can we look back at tech chariot with the map hacks here you like <laughs> if you saw this on current arabia um i mean even seeing this on retro arabia this is absurd man like six well-placed houses full walls him with his main gold and his berries yep yep it's gonna be a clown's dream here uh, the stone is a bit rough for Tech Chariot. He is a player that I know uh, will be. Oh my god. Started it because they were playing on fast. Um. Oh, all right. Oh man, what a waste of a random map seed right here. Yeah, uh, we'll see. Let me uh, go see. I guess I got the other game. I just went for this one. But uh, yeah, I, I'm actually playing the other game one, so uh, <laughs> two and a half minutes into a different game myself. All right, all right. Too bad we didn't play this, Tech Chariot says in chat. Yeah. All right. Uh, two and a half minutes, we're going to get caught up to you here. Uh, we're just going to let things play. Switch Tech Chariot back to the proper color. All right, we're back. Japanese, wide open map. Oh, Tech Chariot. <laughs> oh, Tech Chariot. Night, night and day difference, man. This is one of the worst gens I could imagine. Yeah, I mean, Woodline, only one really viable. This is a really rough gen here for Tech Chariot. Quite unfortunate for him after the last map. Uh, but, nonetheless, he agreed to restart. You know, there aren't any reads. So. The settings are just flatly incorrect, such as fast speed the re is definitely appropriate yeah brutal indeed uh going to speed up here catch up to tech chair you're at two two and a half minutes you said i am paused at 247 get there guys not missing much it looks like at the moment and go all right cool 
Sorry, that was very last minute. But, uh, yeah, so we're up to uh, no idle time for other player here. Things are looking fairly good. Uh, but Verstort, probably very happy if he watches this stream that he was able to get that re. Given that Tech Chariot will have a hell of a time securing some resources here. And, uh, yeah, rough, yeah, rough. I will... I will say this really highlights the increased randomness on Jungle Arabia compared to the modern ones. Um, you really can't count on anything, and at the same time, there's a chance that you'll just hit the jackpot with your map. Yeah, looks like Tech is going to try to dive in, falling up here, which at this point, don't disagree with. He may just wall to the town center, and then Oof. maybe just wall to the gold. I don't know. It's such a brutal yeah. map here. <laughs> Without a golden back, walling to the TC feels kind of futile. Um, if you have Tech Chariot's map, unless your strategy involved hard committing to full walls, I think you just play this one open. Yeah, well, Tech does does wall up a lot, so I expect, I've heard. I've heard. I expect to see a lot of walls, and potentially stone walls even, uh, but this map will make it very difficult given the forward position of the stones and the golds. This is a map where, with Japanese, I feel like uh, Man-at-Arms Towers play would probably be most beneficial for tech here. Uh -huh. Yeah, as Japanese Man-at-Arms Towers sounds pretty good. Uh, his opponent has a better base, but at the same time, Verstort's gold um, is still vulnerable to an early attack. And uh, Tech is forward, he is scouting with his monkey here, so he should be aware of the map situation. Checking all of those things out right now. It's like he has done a full circle here, he does see two of the golds are exposed, and sees the third, so if he does come forward here, it could be a very good position for himself. But, Tech Chariot, right now... Looks like he's just uh, happy to be taking some res around his base and will be funny pop here in a second. Same as the other side. No one's going up early. It doesn't look like for any sort of a scout play. And Tech Chariot dives on a vill that's out here alone and will get the pick off. So Tech Chariot very handy with the monkey only losing 2 HP as a matter of fact as the loot is not in yet. Yeah. Very nice monkey. pick off. <laughs> Monkey versus an unloomed villager is just domination. And Tech Chariot continues to try to focus on getting some walls up to the town center on this side. He is house walling and palisading in the back, so he is going to try to wall himself up a little bit here. And at the very worst, try to uh, wall to that town center, I'd imagine. Yep, there it is. Going to wall the gold to the outside, potentially. Uh, he's reconsidering. Very curious to where these walls end up. I mean, if you wall out your gold, like, what are you going for? Uh, straight trash into Forever Feudal? Like, you you need to have gold access. Um, walling to the TC with the gold on the outside isn't really a thing I'd ever do. Yeah, it looks like he is going to have a barracks way out front here and he's going to wall to the gold. So this is a little bit better for him. Restored going for some revenge here, and Tech has just realized it. I don't know if this villain makes it back alive. Tech garrisons. Oh. He will be safe for the time being. Full HP monkey still, though. Yep, some good monkey micro definitely distracting Tech quite a bit. And some walls coming up for Restored now as he sees opponent's walls, and on to gold already, so Tech is, you know, playing well with this map, and we'll see what he goes into here. Going on to gold this early, no militia. Gonna see archers. archers. Yeah, I think archers are excellent versus Sicilians as well. Quick like more are headed out there. Two vills probably gonna drop the range, I'd imagine. Yep, there will be the archery range. Alright, cool. Finally, another player in the bracket besides myself who plays double range archers. <laughs> well, it's only one thus far. So, nope, there it is. Okay, you are correct. I missed that second one. 
Yeah, I think archers are so good versus Sicilians just because, you know, they're generally strong units that don't rely on bonus damage. Uh, to go for spear defense or to play skirms, of course, just plays into the hands of Sicilians. This will be scouted, though, and it will be known what's going to happen here. A little bit of walling up going on here for Tech by the Gold, as the monkeys will fight and Tech Chariot will win that battle. Behind this, two archery ranges as well for Verstort, so I got archer v archer play. Yep, and I kind of favor Verstort here just because Tech Chariot has that hyper vulnerable gold. Uh, I mean, if he moves out with his archers, he'll be leaving that spot vulnerable. If that gets attacked or even worse, towered, Tech Chariot's not going to be able to produce gold units. For sure, but it is a big risk on defended, so potentially going to have himself the defensive army wouldn't be too surprising here and then sending smaller numbers forward try to pick off bills keep his opponent at home as the monkey is in again and this villager is on the run i think this one with loom should survive however yeah and the monkey will go back yep second villager hadn't joined the fight the monkey i think would have had that yeah, good possibility. Tech is headed forward. He has a Vill, and he has four archers. So, not sure if he meant to grab the Vill, though. The house remains incomplete. Vill is weak, and this wolf is here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think the Vill survives with a good amount of HP. But if you're coming forward with a Vill, uh, you don't want it to be weak like this. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, you know, four archers against three, four, or five archers, seven archers and a skirm actually now, and neither player has fletching, so I'm going to see Blacksmith coming up now for Tech Chair. This is good for him to be forward though, given this exposed gold. The villager does go back, however, which makes sense. I felt like it was too early for anything but maybe a tower. Yeah, don't know what the thought process was there. Maybe he didn't misclick it forwards, just decided to build the house for Vision while he was there, and then move it back. As yeah, Tech is getting Fletchy in at just the right time. Looks like we're going to see a nice Archer dance here, but Verstor with the Skirms in the mix definitely should be favored in a straight fight. Yeah, and they will just separately go their own ways here. Fletching is now on it. And this is really good for tech behind this. It's like we said, that gold being so exposed. The only thing that looks rough right now is the wood, too. Wood, if the gold is surpassed here, this is the only viable wood line right now. I expect to see town centers later for tech here, should he be able to push it into the later game. Yeah, Tech Chariot's map generation is just absolute trash. Uh, bringing the fight forward to his opponent here is what he needs to do, and I like seeing it a lot. As he bravely fights archers versus skirms. Bear Stort, though, with the numbers, with the skirms, closing the dis distance, taking a huge fight. Tech Chariot's army shrinks very quickly. And uh-oh, man. Bear Stort is now coming forward to the hyper-vulnerable base of Tech that we were just talking about. And even if he towers the gold, like we are saying, the wood line is still rangeable. I and mean, that's his only wood as well. So it's not as if he can afford to either position. He has a couple villas just stuck on each other too, which is really unfortunate. Uh, but we'll see what happens. As far as the bill count, Tech is up by one right now. Another bad fight here for Tech, though, as he is going to take... I guess it's not that bad. He is on the hill. And we'll push that back for the moment. Yeah, I thought it looked like it was going to be a horrible fight for him as well, but that was actually tremendous. I think he just traded four for nothing there. Oh, can't complain about that. But back home, I feel like Verstort just now getting to farms, whereas Tech, eh, it's about the same. 14 to 17, and only about four of them just coming down. It looks like four Verstort, so... Market going to be coming up here for Tech. Continues with the Archer production. He does have this hill to defend on. 
We can defend on this hill, it will be pretty big. Military numbers are equal right now, and there are only two skirms in the mix here. Yep, that fight that we just saw with Tech winning on the hill, I think, was absolutely huge. Uh, had that not happened, Verstort would have been all up and on that gold, and Tech, uh, his archer production would have just had to stop. Yeah, Tech does have plus one defense as well. Uh, Wheelbarrow just now coming in for Verstort. Tech has had it, and Tech will be able to click up soon. He's going to have the market. He might just sell something and go up. There he goes. On way. I dig it. Um, I mean, a faster castle age and an archer war is absolutely huge. I think, like, crossbows are the unit to take advantage of a castle age power spike with. Tech looks like he's passing the enemy army here, presumably trying to get into position for an attack on Verstort's base at the start of Castle Age. As Verstort finally rolls up on this gold, Tech, oh, oh man, he is losing these numbers at the worst possible time. He's going to get up to Castle Age with a greatly diminished army. Yeah, and now this is on the hill. He's not going to be able to push this off. He's going to lose all of his army here, it looks like. And oh, will no. likely be pushed off of gold. So now Castleage doesn't really give him much. I mean, his best bet is to get out here somehow and town center that gold at this point. But will be three archery range play. Three range with zero bills on gold, though, man. Uh, I guess he's queuing skirms. Skirms versus Sicilians does not feel good. Yeah, but if one of the other choices he has, he's gonna lose the gold. Go back on Honestly, it. <laughs> I think you like maybe go for uh, an outer TC and maybe a Manganel or something at this point. Uh, you're just so far behind in the Archer numbers. I guess Skirms are a decent choice. I don't know, man. It's so hard to ask for recommendations when players are on the back foot because even the best choice still feels bad. No, for sure. Uh, it, it's very rough. And uh oh. Okay, we're good. Things were frozen for a second. Uh, Skirm, with Botkin, though, and a minute's time, he might be able to do something with this, as Tech is losing some bills over here. It looks like one does go down. The other two could as well. The micro for Verstort is going to be good enough to get those bills, which is extremely good for him. No the town center yet, though. We need a town center for Tech on goal. Yep, but Tech does have the skirm numbers out to repel this. Uh, I mean, he has an army which fights well against Verstort, but like, skirms? <laughs> against Sicilians, skirms are okay against archers and terrible against literally any other unit. Um, maybe he's okay at this moment, but as soon as knights hit the field, Tech is going to have such an inferior army. Yeah, uh, and even with these skirms here, he cannot afford to get crossbow or anything. Oh, and look at this just, like, vil insanity in tech space. I don't know what's going on here. It's like they forgot about the lumber camp, but that is not good efficiency. That will be three TCs. Knights with what will be plus two, plus one already here as well. And with no elite skirm, we do have plus two, plus two on these archers and skirms. A few of them go down for free here, but X is yet to clear all of this. And the knights will soon be coming forward. And the queue just got filled with more skirms. Yep. And he doesn't even have elite skirm being researched. The knights are going to just demolish this. Maybe roll in the tech space. Tech's going to be behind three TCs to one. I don't know if it's GG just yet, but I'm failing to see a pathway to victory for tech. Yeah, I mean, this map is brutal. There's the town center I wanted to see. So at least That's have good. access to gold. He is attacking into crossbow now. Uh, but with only three archers on the field and already seven knights and a nine villager advantage for V, looking very, very rough. Yeah, these knights, uh, the non elite skirms, I mean. <laughs> The, the seven knights on the field would win a fight very decisively here as Verstort is successfully keeping all three of his TCs queued. Currently has an, a 13 villager advantage, which is just going to grow. 
Attacks going uh, forward here, hoping to try to do some damage coming forward with her siege workshop as well. Archers on the wood line again. They they attack the house though, luckily for tech. And he'll likely move out. Garrison is town center at some point here in the front too, so he's got seven villas not working there. Heck should be able to see that his opponent never clicked crossbow and guess that a tech switch is coming in as, oh my god, how little damage these skirms do to these knights. It, it would take like six volleys or something for them to bring down a single knight as they get swarmed. They're going to retreat without firing any shots. Yep, Siege Workshop denied. The, look at the migration of Woodville's here coming to the front where they're just going to be in more danger at this point. Town Center's already full as well. Feels very GG. And Yo-Yo in chat calling it a map win. I mean, it was a horrible map. It put Tech at quite the disadvantage. But by no means did that map determine it. Um, it could have been played quite differently. Uh, I mean, Tech actually seemed like he was in a commanding position at some point early in Feudal Age. But yeah, with that kind of map, uh, if you lose the front of your base... You're kind of GG. Yeah, brutal. Brutal all around there for Tech. Sort getting on that hill was a big issue. And he was able to hold that so well. And then even if he would have been able to Tech into Crossbow at that point and kept up with Crossbow production, that alone would have changed the map. I mean... If I mean, my plan is to go for two range archers and that's my gold, I either preemptively tower it or go for some like crazy wide walls to keep it inside. It's an incredibly unfortunate map, and Tech put up a good fight. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's not like he just gave up as soon as he lost the position, kept in it. I think whenever he killed the four with the four, he thought four for O here with the archers against the three archers and one skirm. <laughs> I think he should have come out here and dropped a tower on this hill, just to be safe. I think that was the big point that he lost this side, and then he could have still defended this and fallen back to the tower. Woodline might have been safer as well, that kind of a map position, but all in all, Tech Chariot will go down here. Uh, yeah, Tech's in chat talking how he agrees with the losing the hill and the tower. Would have been good, but he was trying to be greedy. And yeah, I mean, played the map. GG's. Arena clowns onto arena, right? Yeah, so, that's what we all came here to see, baby. And let's load up real quick the Civ draft for you guys. Map drafts on the screen as well. Still ends with a win for V. Japanese getting the loss. Going to X home map, which is going to be jungle yeah monkey arena God damn it. every time <laughs> never fails <laughs> all right guys one second we're gonna load into monkey arena and these lovely maps are going to provide us with some more games here monkey arena start watching please loading uh all right I'm at five seconds. Ready when you are. Three, two. Oh, wait. What? Okay. All right. We're good. Picture it with the Spanish. I'm going to drop three houses at the start. Yep. Spanish with the faster building bonus. Don't need to assign two bills per house to avoid the instant housing. I like it. Shows that he uh, is experienced with the sieve. And yeah, Spanish here for Tech Chariot. A pretty popular arena pick. Uh, I guess they're known for their castle drops into conquistadors. Personally, I find Turks to be the superior castle dropping sieve, but Spanish get it done. Um, I saw he also had Italians in his draft. I guess he's reserving that for Cove. So here we are with the Spanish. Aside from the castle drop strat, Spanish don't really uh, have any other arena specific strats that they're known for. So. About 90% chance we're going to see, if not a castle drop, a castle at home into Cox. On the other side, we have Verstort playing Indians. A weird arena pick. Uh, he probably could have guessed the tech was going to go Spanish. 
and Indians. Uh, I mean, Spanish have a diverse tech tree. You know, they do have fully upgraded paladin. So I guess camel and heavy camel and imperial camel could play a role here. But Indians are a bizarre pick for sure. Um, they're just not known to be a particularly good arena sieve. They're generally solid. I guess they might just be a pet sieve of their stort. Um, but yeah, this is going to be an interesting one for sure. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, Indians, not an arena sieve that I would have picked myself. But hey, trying to counter. He's up one game here. Can't argue with him there. Now... One thing you said that I do disagree with. The Spanish have the in the Inquisition. Indeed, and their monk play, for sure, I forgot. And Tech is a clown. And I expect to see nothing less than monks or missionaries on this mm. map before it's all said and done here. I think you might be right. The uh, Spanish, I mean, they have the unique monk unit, the missionary, the mounted monk, which is actually buffed so much in DE because you can shift cue them backwards after the conversion. You click convert and then you shift click back and they do the conversion and run away. And they're so much better at it than the normal monks. The missionaries are also uh, like pumped up by husbandry and bloodlines. So... Yeah, I guess that's really strong, and they also have the unique tech in the Castle Inquisition, which feels so broken to get. It literally cuts conversion time in half. Once you have Inquisition, you can functionally insta-convert everything. And yeah, I guess I spaced. I spaced on the Spanish monks. Don't sleep on them. Yeah, I mean, I've been excited to see tech set because I've watched him play countless arena games when he streams, and... You guys don't know he is streaming by the way they are on youtube now but uh you can find him at uh just YouTube tech chariot but he will play monks on arabia he will go byzantine monks with trebs and that's how he wins games in rank ladder it's ridiculous i love it so really curious to see what he can pull out here with the spanish um oh and we you know we didn't mention these strong villagers that they have here as well uh, Spanish have the strongest vills in the game after getting the supremacy research. Yep, an imperial age technology. I believe it's 400 uh, food, 200 gold, and it just pumps the hell out of the vills. They can fight cost effectively against so many things. Uh, again, it's actually a tech that's buffed hugely by DE because you can actually now shift click the vills. So, like, if the opponent's coming forward with three trebs, you can just take ten vills, shift-click all of them, and it makes the vills so much easier to micro his army. So, yeah, I guess with shift queuing, uh, Spanish have actually kind of gotten shadow-buffed quite a bit with the... Yeah, it'll be, uh, it'll be interesting to see what we have here. Tech Chariot has not scouted his... or scouted with his monkey to get his two sheep in the back, and he is running out of food under his town center. So hopefully he can remedy this situation for himself. Hate to see him lose out on some food. He is dropping the farm. It's pretty common though. We have two already for Restort. Berry collection for both. Obviously going for Fast Castle here would be my guess. Both players have the res to click up and have refused to do so. So I would expect nothing less than two Fast Castle builds. And honestly, idle time... Almost identical, only two more seconds for Tech Chariot. Worker efficiency is floating around the same percentage for both players as well. So, solid play for both. Wouldn't expect anything more this for the Arena Clowns. Indeed, pretty clean from both. Um, I'm just favoring Tech a lot here, man. He has the better Arena Civ, he home mapped it. Uh, Verstort, I mean, he's got a clean build, but what do Indians do here? They are just kind of a generic sieve against m what I would expect Spanish to bring. Yeah, I think his best bet is going to be something out of the box that you wouldn't see right <laughs> off the bat with Indians. So I'm going to do what Hitch always does and say Indian... I have archers. Yeah. I, uh, I mean, if, 
against monks, light cav is just unambiguously the best unit. Um, and Indians have totally passable light cav. Uh, in a way, the light cav is kind of uh, boosted by the cheaper vills. Uh, so they have more food. They can get them out a little bit more easily. But... I don't know. I mean, the recent balance changes actually do make light cap quite dominant first monks, but Spanish with the options of missionaries. I don't know, man. I think we're going to see a lot of woolaloos here. Yeah, it's uh, definitely probable. I mean, knowing how Tech Chariot plays, Verstor tier, uh, we have. I think we saw him play Arena in his first set, but I think it was uh, a Banana Cove, and it was a very quick decision on. Water, maybe mistaken though. So many games that we've casted thus far. Um, yeah, and you know what? Yo-Yo's pointing something out in chat. Tech Chariot clicked up on twenty-nine bills. Um, unless Tech Chariot's going for like a four TC boom or something like that, this is a fast M from Tech. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, it's gonna be pretty good, pretty good indeed, and. Restored is up to Castle Age. Feudal Age just about to hit here, but uh, won't be too long. We'll have imp resources, it looks like, honestly. Yep, Tech's gold collection is uh, a little bit less than I would expect for a fast imp, but, you know, it's arena. You got time to correct these things. You can play with the market. He is going to stone, however, so maybe it will be a castle. Yeah, a castle uh, will be his building. He's going for trebs. Monk Trebs. Yep, and I'll, you also need the castle for the Spanish unique tech. Yeah. Looks like a pretty nice practiced build, and honestly, man, an arena clown executing their practice build with an overpowered strat is not going to be stopped by a casual Indian picker. Yeah, uh, Diablo, I think he got Loom because he didn't want to queue another Vill, and he was waiting for the market blacksmith. So he just got uh, loom the, dead. The loom, to me, actually suggests that the castle is coming forward, possibly, yeah. Going up, going up to 10 on stone here. Yep, Verstor, however, has taken map control. If Tech is thinking that he's just going to be able to stroll out there to drop a castle, uh, he could be in for an an ugly surprise. Now, Tech says he's, he was housed, so he got dead. Makes sense. There were two houses coming down there as well. Um... Scouts were visualized, though, as Tech loses his monkey, so he knows that they are out here. And I wouldn't be all that surprised to see Castle come up defensively. Even yep. though it does still look like a fast in-play to me. Yep, with knowledge of the scouts on the map, it would just be suicide to go for a forward castle. Yeah. Behind this, though, Verstort is up. He will add a monastery, try to grab some relics of his own, and then he has a uh, town center play coming in, it looks like, trying to go for a little bit of military on the field, and monks, obviously, not going for three right away. Yep, as Tech is about to hit the next age, his stone timing is pretty good, his food is just at the right spot. A little market abuse, and he will be clicking that fast imp. Super defensive castle. Super defensive. And he's stonewalling behind. So he expects to play this defensively. Which is not a bad thing whenever you are going for a fast imperial age. Yeah, I mean, you say he expects to play it defensively. I interpret this as he plans to be so aggressive that he wants to dedicate zero army uh, to defense ever. He'll let the buildings and walls provide all the defense he needs while he's just going to have some sort of monk and siege ball at the front. Yeah, that's true. Could, could very well be. Uh, one monk on the field here, one in production there it is. So, full relic control going to be here for V. Uh, Rez getting closer and closer to being able to click to the Imperial Age as a ton more bills go to gold and shifting a few more on to the wood here. Castle, you know, this is another interesting point that we haven't talked about. The castle here, if we look at the scouting for V, he is unable to see that castle. So this is kind of a hidden castle, maybe a surprise 
play? Um, I mean, when you click up on 29 pop, a savvy arena opponent will know that a fast imp is definitely possible. Very good job by Verstort to patrol the walls to give a maximum vision of what's going inside, but at the same time, very good job by Tech Chariot to not reveal anything by placing his building within the line of sight of those scouts. Imperial Age time will be spectacular. I mean, we're looking at another 21 minute imp time in this tournament, which is just insane to me, but I am not one who knows much about the arena builds. Three relic. Three relics already going to be in here, as there's two and one on the way, and there's only four. Oh, there's the other relic in the center of the map. So yeah, can can tech queue a military unit though, please? Um, I was thinking, that, yeah, he's getting sanctity, um, but it would be nice to start uh, actually having the army good to go. It seems like he's going to hit imp, and he's still going to need to wait a little bit before he moves out. Yeah, this is this is full. Full monk play. Inquisition is on its way. We will have the Inquisition, and I think we're going to see missionaries. Yep, missionaries would be great here as Verstort is deciding to go for a counter castle. Horrible decision, man. Uh, Tech is going to just have a field day trebbing this thing down. In fact, I don't. You know, Verstort is actually looking horribly unprepared to deal with this. Uh, Tech really looks like he's going to steamroll him here. Verstor is is just simply not prepping anything resembling an appropriate defense for what Tech's about to bring. Yeah, I mean, the Conquistador may be shown here. Maybe it's going to wait. Hard to say at the moment. I mean, the bills are just insane. I mean, it's going to be just a 22 and a half minute Imperial Age time. B is nowhere near Imp, so he's going to be in a bit of trouble here. And, uh... If I'm restored here, man, I literally would, like, delete this castle and move it back home to safety. Um, Tech is going to be able to trev this from the safety of his walls. Yeah, Conquistadors will be shown, though. He might even deny it with just the Conquistadors if he comes out of his base here. No monks on the field just yet. Uh, this is taking some time to build up here. Yep, as he gets the monk techs. Um... Yeah, I don't like how late he is coming out with the monks, but I do feel like Verstort is just, as he continues to just 3TC boom and not queue any military, he's going for ranges here. He's completely misreading this. He's thinking it's some sort of pure conquistador play or something. I don't know. Yeah, Tech will go for monks instead of missionaries. A little disappointed, not going to lie. But monk play, we haven't seen it much at all for full-on monk play, so... Very appreciated that we are going to see this situation. This castle has gone up, it will go down, and uh, it will be Elite Skirm at a three range behind this. Illumination on its way as well here, so... As well as Hursery? A theocracy? Okay. Yep. Yeah, block printing, Illumination, and Theocracy are kind of like the big three techs that any serious monk push will get. Skirms are an interesting defense. Uh, skirms, I mean, in good enough numbers, I guess they counter monks. Uh, if the numbers are up, yeah, they can take down the monks in just a few volleys. And, like, they're also barely worth worth the effort to convert. So, uh, I guess Light Cav, just, like, sticking to pure Light Cav is probably more effective. But with the addition of Cox... A straight mass of skirms actually is an appropriate defense. Yeah, and there's not many of them. V is on his way up to the Imperial Age. He has a lot of population. He actually got almost double the population right now. And there's three monks with all these upgrades and three conquistadors here right now. Boy, heck. <laughs> Tech has just not brought the thunder here. Um, he got up so much quicker, but I mean, he's let Verstort leisurely boom up to a really healthy population. And now that Tech's finally showing up at his door, his numbers are just not impressive. Yeah, it looks like maybe a few conversions gonna come in here as they do. Um, light Cav Skirm, maybe? Looks like Light yeah. Cav upgrade may have got canceled. <laughs> Interestingly, uh, yeah, 
good. I'm going to say, th those conversions are actually absolutely huge. It looked like he was just targeting them each with one monk. I was a little bit worried that they wouldn't come in, but now that he has them, I mean, it, it really increases his army's potency versus these scarabs. Now, apparently Relic Victory is enabled because they had a little chat about it. Uh, because five relics are in for V. You can't see that on Capture Age, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, Tex did just say that hit, the game will be over long before then. So, Tech very confident here. Mm, that could be red either way. In this position, when it's uh, a player pushing, Tech knows that he's down a tremendous amount of Nico. Either this push wins, or it gets pushed back. And the second the Tech fails to continue his push, he knows he'll have lost. Um, I mean, uh, yeah, Tech's comment definitely can be interpreted either way. Yeah, but look at the number of skirms. The monks will be pushed back here. And ultimately, I think this is going to be stopped. I think it was too long developing, and V had too clean of a build behind it, recognizing the situation. Maybe Tech is uh, a little too greedy with this play. He yeah, is going to convert I mean, some skirmishers. <laughs> It is a tough build to do, but yeah, this is just so late. He's he's literally showing up at the enemy's walls when Verstort has a hundred fills plus a large military already. Um, but you know what? Tech's got good monk numbers. Uh, if Mike rode correctly, he could convert the majority of Verstort's army. Yeah, but there's a lot of skirms, and there's a lot of... Light cav, a lot of micro intensiveness about to happen here. As the yeah. conquistadors will be microed down, skirmishers being used as converting, and now we have a lot of military against full monk right now. But you know what? Conversions on the light cav and then turning the light calves onto the skirm, yeah, as those original two converted light calves are just doing so much work. The skirms, I mean, they're just crumbling to two light cav. Tech, I think that he's actually done it. Um, it was a close call, but Verstort, I mean, when you're defending against a monk push like this, you kind of have one go at it. And Verstort, oh boy, oh boy, this is the this is the fight to decide the game. And I think Tech's gonna get enough. I don't know, man. Uh, I don't think so. The Hustler upgrade just came in, so they're gonna be able to kill the Light Cav quite easily, and all the monks have gone down. There's only three left on the field, two left on the field here. Uh, yeah, the GG comes in. Good luck next. V will take it here, being able to defend from this crazy monk push from Tech Chariot here. And Tech will uh, move out of the tournament. V will move on. GG's to both players. Love watching Tech play. He uh, makes me look at weird strategies all the time. And yep. uh, this one, I think, just took a little bit too long to develop, potentially. And V played very solid behind this, booming up, recognizing the situation at the right time. Yeah, honestly, if the micro and conversions had been just a little bit different in the final fight, I think it could have swung the other way. But, hey, ultimately, you know, I guess wars come down to a single battle, and we just saw it. Yeah. GG's. Again, uh, Tech Chariot is... One of the few people I know that streams, uh, he is on YouTube. Uh, just go search for him there if you want to check out his stream. He does play all of these uh, random strategies, monk plays, even on Arabia. And it's actually really enjoyable to watch, so go check him out for sure. But, uh, guys, it comes that time. It comes that time. Yeah, uh, do this updating of the bracket, guys. You are looking to avoid spoilers. Again, I will post the YouTube in there for you. And anyone interested in joining the Open Division, there is uh, as well. And if you are just enjoying the tournament and wish to follow, I would appreciate that. We are going to be casting sets pretty much nonstop for like the next three days now, I think, because we have so many sets to do. Jabari's set... Uh, has been turned in, and Knight Noble will join me for that cast uh, tomorrow night, actually. So, GG's, good luck everyone, but 
Your chance to look away is uh, fading ever so quickly as we are going to take the bracket, guys. Restort takes it from Tech Chariot here. He will move on and he will face the winner of uh, Tutus Asylum and the Otter one. We get ever so so far into the bracket. It, it's uh, it's slowly closing, slowly closing. But we will be having best of fives next round, right there, Jabari. Yep, the quarters are best of fives, and the semis and finals are best of sevens. Exhausting to play, exhausting to cast, but we're going to get to see all the fun maps, and we're going to see players really tested to their limits. Absolutely. Going to be a lot of fun. I think we have all but one set turned in, so we have Chris, Toby, and Jabari's games. I don't know about Chris, Captain Thomas, and I don't even know how to pronounce this right now. Eltervator. Don't know about their set, actually. I their message them. Teapot and Origin Symmetry, we have their games. Yo-Yo Dude and uh, the Serb. Getting a little bit of an extension on time. Serb has uh, unfortunately come down with the vid, so give him a few days to get back into the swing of things. But lots to go yet, guys. We have a lot to cast, so I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as we are. Do appreciate everyone for showing up yet. It's been great. Sorry, any closing words before we go try to find someone to uh, raid? No, I appreciate everybody hanging out and watching uh, and taking an interest in the tournament. Yeah, man, let's just get that raid on. All right, all right, sounds good.